Hi guys, so today I'm gonna be doing um, my budget for the month of January. I'm gonna list all of my bills um, that I need to pay for that entire month and break that down between two paychecks that I will be receiving, one on the 22nd and then the other one on the, um, I believe the 5th of January. I am a month ahead on my bills and this will include like my four walls, which basically means my rent, my natural gas insurance, phone bill, groceries, and gasoline. So this is gonna be my first paycheck, which I'm gonna receive on the 22nd, which is this Friday. That's why I'm doing this. And I usually estimate $1,200 every paycheck. Um, and that's just because I know that's what I'm gonna get. If I get anything extra, then I'll add it to my debt snowball. So I'm just gonna list what I do my bills first. Just like that I know um, what needs to be paid. But I won't deduct that from my paycheck until I deduct my um, four walls. Because like Dave Ramsey says, you need to have shelter, you need to have food, you need to have clothes, and you need the lights and heat or air running. So that's what I'm gonna do. And if my camera dies, I'll just add a clip in again. But yeah, I'm just filling this out really quickly. And this is, these are the bills for my first paycheck. I am ahead, like I said. Is the 22nd and this paycheck that I'm getting for um for Friday is for actually for January bills. I'm not sure if you can see that. Let me see if I can zoom you in just a tad bit. I'm sorry. And I like to list the dates. Now, from what I've noticed, I always tend to um, write everything down by like chronological, like when bills are due. But once Friday hits, all payments are made. All of them, except if um, they still haven't processed. You know how sometimes you can make the mistake of paying twice in the same month? Yeah. If it's not posted on my account, I will not pay it until it gives me the statement. But this is what I usually do every single time. So this is what I'm going to be paying. So I'm just going to. And this is going to be a budget for the entire month. And then I'm just going to be subtracting along the way. Once I receive my paycheck, then I'd be, then I will look, be like how much I have extra, how much I'm short. But this gives me a rough estimate of what needs to be paid, how much I need, and see if I need to, if I'm in the negative, or if some things are just not gonna get paid. seven okay so those are the first bills of um my first paycheck so this pay this all of this is going to be for the friday this friday that i get paid i'm going to pay all of this but first i want to put my rent well my portions of the rent this is for um february's rent because i already have january's rent so this is me taking out money from my paycheck to put away to have february's rent so my portion of the rent is nine hundred dollars and my first paycheck i always like to take 500 and then my second paycheck i like to take 400 just because on my second paycheck my second set of bills is extremely heavy those are my heaviest bills you know the 20 you know on the 20th on the 25th on the 19th 18th of the month those are my heaviest bills so i always like to take 500 dollars out because i know these are my lighter bills except for paypal <sighs> that's a whole different story but yeah i like to take out 
$900, $500 in the first paycheck, $400 on the second paycheck. And that's not the entire rent. My boyfriend does the other part. So we're not going to talk about that. This is just mine. So then for my natural gas, I always estimate at $10. Just because it varies, I can be at 7, I can be at 9 or 10, but it's never more than $10 just because I don't think I cook, I don't think I bake. My insurance for my car is always the same. It's at $87. And these are my four walls. I always put them this because these are my monthly, I always put it down as my monthly necessities. That's what, um... Sorry, I need to zoom you in a bit, my bad. Those are my monthly, this is gonna get taken out before any of this, you get me? This comes out. My phone bill, I've been trying, I've been trying to get out of my Sprint. And this is always estimated at 102, it always varies like 100, 101, 100 in some sense, but it's always like 102. The most I've gone is 103, but 102 is always my maximum, that's just in case I pay it late. For my groceries, I always budget out $80, but I do $40 one week and $40 um, my next paycheck just because me and my boyfriend interchange on our paychecks. Um, when I get paid, he, um, he does groceries, and when I get paid, I do groceries. So that's how that thing works. And so every week we are buying groceries just in little chunks. So we always do a small budget. Because if I do $40 this week, he does $40 next week and so on and so forth. That's why it's so low. And then for my gasoline, that always stays $50 every paycheck. Because I put $25 each week and I get paid bi-weekly <clears throat> so yeah these are my monthly necessities and now I can do the second set of bills is when I get paid I believe on the 5th or 18th of January somewhere around that this is my second set of bills I'm just going to write them here because I love to have like a snapshot of what my month of January and my bills look like now this is gonna look a bit tricky because I'm going into shutdown our company is going um, on vacation and I unfortunately don't have um, PTO or sick time to cover two weeks of shutdown is the first week of Christmas and then the first week of like New Year's kind of thing. I don't have time. So I am in the process, hopefully, of getting a job in the mall for the holidays. And it's gonna be interesting. If you see two Bank of America, one is my personal Bank of America, the other one is the one I share with my mom that we need to pay off. So, let me see. Ooh, if the camera is shaky, it is because I'm holding it um, with my hand as I'm writing this. So, yeah. Let's hope it doesn't shake as much. My arm is getting tired, but whatever, you know. I just want to give you guys what my budgeting looks like because you know everyone's different you don't have to follow me at all this just helps me to understand my um my bills and i'm gonna go ahead and add the totals again If you're thinking, oh, you're doing it so fast, it's because I do have a cheat sheet on the side that I scribbled already and made all the accounts. And this just makes me... And then I just redo it on a nicer piece of paper. <laughs> That's all. Oh, hopefully you can see everything.
Okay, so now that all my bills are due, all the ones that I see for January, you see them? You need a closer look. I am going to put paycheck number two here. I'm going to put it at about, I'm going to say 1100 It might not be true, but this is, um, since I am using like PTO for like one of the shutdown weeks, I'm going to be missing like two days. I'm not going to be getting my premium pay. So this is going to be my basic pay which is what I get paid for like holidays. For any time I'm not, I don't physically clock in, I do get a, um, my base pay rate, but when I do, I get my premium. But I'm gonna estimate 1100, it might be a lot less because like I said, I don't have all of my, my, I don't have time to cover most of the shutdown. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add all this up, put it right on the bottom of each, and then what I'm gonna do is subtract my four walls, from my paycheck and then subtract the total of this onto that and see um, if I'm in the negative or if I have anything left over for my snowball. So give me one second and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I am back. I totaled up um, my total minimum debt due, which is $731.49 and that is because my PayPal is so high. But I, I don't think that's gonna get paid it's not gonna get paid, you know. Some bills just don't get paid, like Dave Ramsey says. So what I did is I total do uh, debt due, but I made one without the PayPal, and it'll be four hundred and eighty-six with forty-nine cents. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take my estimated paycheck that I'm inspecting. I'm gonna subtract my first set of rent, which is five hundred dollars. I'm gonna subtract my phone bill because that is due. On like the 12th so I'm gonna subtract that actually no what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do half and half so I'm gonna do like about $51 I'm gonna pay half of that is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take $40 away for groceries and 50 bucks for um, gasoline this one I'm not sure when it's due <clears throat> it's usually due when the, um, the second set of bills is due so I have $559 left over, so I'm going to go ahead and subtract my debt now from this amount. So $486, because I'm not going to do PayPal, there's no way that's going to happen. So that my extra income that I will have to myself or to my snowball, which I like to write up here, sorry, left over. And this is bare minimum. I know I did like two hours of overtime, so you never know what I'll get. So I'm gonna put down here seventy-two. Sorry, seventy-two dollars and fifty-one cents. So that's how I have that there. So let me zoom in. And here in my leftover category, this is where I put miscellaneous things that I need to get done. So like my sister just texted me like. I need nine dollars to pitch in for like our secret center of uh, um, catering that you know we're having very small and then I do need to take out twenty five dollars for my secret center that I have not done so I'm gonna go ahead and turn my phone back on and I'm gonna do what is it the seventy two fifty one minus the nine dollars minus the twenty five so then I have thirty eight dollars and fifty one cents left over for myself, not for myself, for my for my snowball, and um, I like to take out ten dollars just for me, just so I don't feel like completely like dead. So I call it miscellaneous, because you know I always have that urge. You know I want like I want like a snack or a vending machine or like something, you know, to keep my spirits lift it so in total i have 28 dollars and 51 cents left over to put towards my snowball and that is based on the bare minimum right here nothing else so 28.51 i usually like to have a buffer of five dollars in my bank account just in case i go over or under so um 
probably like $23. But I'm going to go ahead. It is Wednesday. I usually have my my um, my paycheck statement ready for me to view before I get paid on my ADP portal. So I'm going to go ahead and look really quickly. Hopefully it is up. And let me see. Uh, yeah. I got a little bit left over. So my actual paycheck. <laughs> Thank God I did check. This is good for my video. Hello, you guys. So my actual pay that I'm going to get paid on Friday is $1,274.96. So I'm going to add the $74.96 to my snowball. So my total snowball will be... Sorry, let me calculate that. So the $28.51 minus my $5 buffer plus the actual over that I have from my, that would be $74.96. So my total snowball this month is $47, I mean $98.47. Woo! That means I get to close one a firm account and put um, like about $20 to my next um, smallest debt. So yeah, you guys, that is how I budget. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.